Good morning, boys and girls. Do you know what this is? Sure you do. It's a remote control. Some of you might have one for your TV, and you can use it to turn the TV on or off, or change the channels or adjust the volume. Do you know what? There's some remote controls that can do much more than that. I've seen some that can control up to 15 different things. They're called universal remotes. Well, I actually have one on my cell phone that I can do all kinds of things with. I can control all the TVs in my house, turn on lights and turn off lights. I'm sure that you could even program them to lock your doors if you needed to. When you have a universal remote control, you are in complete control. That's amazing, isn't it? In our Bible lesson today, Jesus showed people his amazing control of everything around him. It was on a Sabbath day and Jesus went to the synagogue and began to teach. There was a man there who was possessed by an evil spirit. When Jesus went near him, the man cried out, What do you want with us, Jesus? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are. You're the Holy One of God. Be quiet, Jesus said. Then he spoke to the evil spirit. Come out. Do you know what happened? The evil spirit did exactly what Jesus commanded. It came out of the man. The Bible tells us that the people were so amazed. They looked at one another and asked, what is going on here? Even evil spirits obey his orders. There was powers in his words. And on that day, Jesus came and took control of the life of that man. His life would have never, ever be the same. Jesus wants to be in control of your life too. He wants to be in control of the plans you make, the words you say, the things you do, the places you go. Why? Is he a control freak? No, he wants to be in control because he wants what is best for you. The Bible tells us that God has a plan for us. It is a good plan that gives us hope and a bright future. But we will never see that plan work unless we allow Jesus to be in control. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us Jesus. And please let us, let him control our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We'll see you next time.